Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. Today we are going to solve a question of CSIRNet Mathematics December 2019 Part B Complex Analysis. The question is for Z belongs to C, let FZ is equals to Z bar square upon Z if Z is not equals to 0, 0 otherwise. Then, which of the following statement is false? Option A. Fz is continuous everywhere. Option B. Fz is not analytic in any open neighborhood of 0. Option C. Z into Fz satisfies the cauchy riemann equations at 0. And option D. Fz is analytic in some open subset of C. Solution For option A. Fz is continuous everywhere. Consider Z in polar coordinates. That is, x is equals to r cos theta, y is equals to r sin theta, z is equals to r into e raised to i theta, and z bar is equals to r into e raised to minus i theta. Fz is equals to z bar square upon z, which is equals to r into e raised to minus i theta whole square upon r into e raised to i theta which is equals to r square into e raised to minus 2i theta upon r into e raised to i theta which is r into e raised to minus 3i theta which gives us r into cos minus 3 theta plus i sin minus 3 theta which is equals to r into cos 3 theta minus i into r sin 3 theta at z equals to 0, f0 is equals to 0, which is given here, u r theta, the real part is equals to r cos 3 theta and v r theta is equals to minus r sin 3 theta. We will only check continuity at z equals to 0, because at rest of, rest of the points, it is already continuous. u 0 0 is equals to limit r tends to 0, r cos 3 theta, which is equals to 0 and v0 0 is equals to limit r tends to 0 minus r sin 3 theta which is also equals to 0. Hence, as u and v are continuous everywhere, then fz is also continuous everywhere. Hence, option A is true. Now, option C. z into fz satisfies the cauchy riemann equation set 0. First, we find z into fz which is equals to z bar square which is equals to x minus i y whole square which is equals to x square minus y square plus i into minus 2 x y u x y the real part is equals to x square minus y square and v x y the imaginary part is equals to minus 2 x y the cauchy riemann equations are u x equals to v y and u y equals to minus v x where v x v y u x and u y are the partial derivatives the value of ux is equals to 2x, vy is equals to minus 2x, and ui is equals to minus 2y, and vx is equals to minus 2y. Now, we have to check the equation at 0, 0. Therefore, at xy equals to 0, 0, ux equals to vy equals to 0, and ui equals to minus vx equals to 0. Therefore, c is also true. Now, option b fz is not analytic in any open neighborhood of 0 and option d fz is analytic in some open subset of 0. Here option b and option d are opposite to each other. Option b says fz is not analytic whereas option d says fz is analytic and analytic means differentiable. So f dash 0 is equals to limit z tends to 0 fz minus f0 upon z minus 0. Here, fz is equals to z bar square upon z and f0 is equals to 0. Therefore, f dash 0 is equals to limit z tends to 0, z bar square upon z minus 0 upon z minus 0, which is equals to limit z tends to 0, z bar square upon z square, which gives us limit xy tends to 0, 0, x minus iy whole square upon x plus iy whole square. Take y is equals to mx. We get 
f dash 0 is equals to limit x tends to 0 x minus imx whole square upon x plus imx whole square which is equals to limit x tends to 0 x square 1 minus im whole square upon x square 1 plus im whole square which is equals to 1 minus im square upon 1 plus im square here f dash z is dependent on the value of m so it cannot be unique and also cannot be analytic in any neighborhood of 0 therefore option b is true and d is false and remember we have to find the false statement therefore option d is the correct answer